new evidence proves DNC files copied locally, not hacked by Russians. New evidence has emerged from an independent researcher known as the Fall Rensicator, which proves that the DNC files were copied locally and leaked from someone on the inside, and not hacked by the Russians. In the document published today, conclusively proves that the files published by the Gusifer 20 persona were initially downloaded by a person with physical access to a computer connected to the internal DNC network. The leaker most likely used a USB drive or a portable storage device to copy the information before handing it over to WikiLeaks. The groundbreaking new analysis irrevocably destroys the Russian hacking narrative and calls the actions of CrowdStrike and the DNC into question. This shocking new evidence gives, even more, weight to the theory that murdered DNC staffer Seth Rich was the leak, something that the mainstream media and the Democrats are desperate to convince the public is fake news. Hitch contained a detailed analysis of the data published by Gusifer 20 as NGP Van. The document states that the files that eventually published as NGP Van by Gusifer 20 were first copied to a system located in the Eastern Time Zone, with this conclusion supported by the observation that the 7Z file times after adjustment to East Coast time fall into the range of the file times in the This constitutes the first of a number of points of analysis which suggests that the information eventually published by the Gusifer 20 persona was not obtained by a Russian hacker. The Forensicator stated in their analysis that a USB drive was most likely used to boot Linux OS onto a computer that either contained the alleged DNC files or had direct access to them. They also explained to us that in this situation one would simply plug a USB drive with a Linux OS into a computer and reboot it, after restarting. The computer would boot from the USB drive and load Linux instead of its normal OS. A large amount of data would then be copied to the same USB drive. In this case, additional files would have been copied in mass, to be pruned heavily at a later time when the 7-zip archive now known as NGP Van was built. The Forensicator wrote that if 1.98 GB of data had been copied at a rate of 22.6 MB per second and time gaps T were noticed at the top level of the NGP Van 7 zip file were attributed to additional file copying, then approximately 19.3 GB in total would have been copied. In this scenario, the 7 zip archive, NGP Van, would represent only about 10 of the total amount of data that was collected. The very small proportion of files eventually selected for use in the creation of the NGP Van files were later published by the creators of the Gusifer 20 persona. This point is especially significant, as it suggests the possibility that up to 90 of the information initially copied was never published. The use of a USB drive would suggest that the person first accessing the data could not have been a Russian hacker. In this case, the person who copied the files must have physically interacted with a computer that had access to what Gusifer 20 called the DNC files. A less likely explanation for this data pattern where large time gaps were observed between top-level files and directories in the 7-zip file can be explained by the use of think time to select and copy 1.9 gigabytes of individual files, copied in small batches with think time interspersed. In either scenario, Linux would have been booted from a USB drive, which fundamentally necessitates physical access to a computer with the alleged DNC files. The fall Rensicator believed that using the possible think time explanation to explain the time gaps was a less likely explanation for the data pattern available, 
with a large amount of data most likely copied instantaneously, later pruned in the production of the Gussifer 20's publication of the NGP Van Files. Both the most likely explanation and the less likely scenario provided by the fall Rensicator's analysis virtually exclude the possibility of a Russian or remote hacker gaining external access to the files later published as NGP Van. In both cases, the physical presence of a person accessing a containing DNC information would be required. Importantly, the fall Rensicator concluded that the chance that the files had been accessed and downloaded remotely over the Internet were too small to give this idea any serious consideration. He explained that the calculated transfer speeds for the initial copy were much faster than can be supported by an internet connection. This is extremely significant and completely discredits allegations of Russian hacking made by both Gussifer 20 and CrowdStrike. This conclusion is further supported by analysis of the overall transfer rate of 23 megabytes per second. The fall Rensicator described this as possible when copying over a LAN, but too fast to support the hypothetical scenario that the alleged DNC data was initially copied over the Internet, as to Romania. Gussifer 20 had claimed to originate in Romania. So in other words, this rate indicates that the data was downloaded locally, possibly using the local DNC network. The importance of this finding in regards to destroying the Russian hacking narrative cannot be overstated. If the data is correct, then the files could not have been copied over a remote connection and so, therefore, cannot have been hacked by Russia. The use of a USB drive would also strongly suggest that the person copying the files had physical access to a computer most likely connected to the local DNC network. Indications that the individual used a USB drive to access the information over an internal connection, with timestamps placing the creation of the copies in the East Coast time zone, suggest that the individual responsible for initially copying what was eventually published by the Gussifer 20 persona under the title NGP Van was located in the eastern United States. Not Russia. The implications of the fall Rensicator's analysis in combination with Adam Carter's work suggest that at the very least, the Russian hacking narrative is patently false. Adam Carner has a strong grasp on the NGP Van Files and Gussifer 20, with his website on the subject called A Good Source by Wyclax via Twitter. Carter told Disobedient Media that in his opinion the analysis provided by the fall Rensicator was accurate but added that if changes are made to the work in future, any new conclusions would require further vetting. On the heels of recent retractions by legacy media outlets like CNN and The New York Times, this could have serious consequences, if months of investigation into the matter by authorities are proven to have been based on gross misinformation based solely on the false word of CrowdStrike. Assange recently lamented widespread ignorance about the DNC leak via Twitter. Specifically naming Hillary Clinton, the DNC, the White House and mainstream media as having reason to suppress the truth of the matter. As one of the only individuals who would have been aware of the source of the DNC leaks, Assange's statement corroborates a scenario where the DNC and parties described in Adam Carter's work likely to have included CrowdStrike, may have participated in suppressing knowledge of the true origins and evidence surrounding the leak of the DNC emails by confusing them with the publication of the Gussifer 20 persona. Despite Gussifer 20's conflicting reports of having both been a Russian hacker and having contact with Seth Rich, the work of the fall Rensicator indicates that neither of these scenarios is likely true. What is suggested is that the files now known as NGP Van were copied by someone with access to a system connected to the DNC internal network, and that this action had no bearing on the files submitted to Wyclax and were most likely unassociated with Seth Rich, and definitively not remotely hacked from Russia.